Any unknown author who's tried to get anything published knows the experience can quickly turn into a depressing nightmare. The process can be so maddening it threatens to break the writer to the point that they never type another word. A great story definitely helps a writer get published, but in today's publishing world it's not the most important reason an unknown author gets a deal. About five days after submitting one of my titles to a small to medium sized publisher, I received replies from three of the screeners who read the entire manuscript. All three readers loved the story. I even received an email from the guy who named the company after himself. To paraphrase his words, he told me that, as good as the story is, it likely won't sell well. The reason? It doesn't easily fit into an established market. Of course, he wanted to publish the title. However, when I submitted the marketing proposal, I quickly received a respectful but brutally honest reply telling me that there was no way they could publish the title, not without me having a more established platform. Devastation settled in. After a couple of years polishing this particular manuscript and sending it to dozens upon dozens of agents, I had finally gotten industry people to read the whole story. And they didn't only like it, they loved it. But they won't publish it. The reason is because, despite having one story published, I'm still an unknown author without a platform. My published title is available for purchase only because I won a publishing competition. That victory only helps establish that I can write. It does nothing to establish that I can sell copies. After the small publisher released my title, they issued a press release and did a Twitter blast. But after that, I was left alone to market it. However, I had no idea how to market anything. It. I naively thought that word of mouth would catch on and my title would break the rules and sell well without me putting any effort into the marketing. Of course, that didn't happen. Twitter blasts are like spam emails, and a press release is only as good as the medium it's released to. The problem I had is the same problem many unknown writers have. We have no platform. And that is exactly what small and medium-sized publishers want. It's no longer enough to produce a good or even a great novel. Exceptions will always pop up, but if your story does not both fit into and stand out within a genre with a large reader market and you have no way of guaranteeing sales, chances are your search for an agent or a publisher will be a very long road. God damn you all to hell! Therein lies the dilemma. Unknown authors today aren't getting published because they don't have enough exposure. but how will they get that exposure without publishing their writing? It's like a teenager not getting the job they want because they don't have enough experience. It's unfair. Unknown authors today increasingly need to be responsible for their own sales. Unless your book gets published by one of the big four, you will likely be expected to have a platform that can be used to promote your work. Well, that's just fucking great! This creates a question that most new authors will need to answer. Why should I even bother going the traditional publishing route if I need some kind of platform? Isn't that what the publisher is for? Well, yeah, at least it used to be. But if I have a platform, that will lead to sales. Why shouldn't I self-publish and keep more of the profits? This is a great question. A first-time author making a deal with a publisher will likely get somewhere around 10% of each book sale for print editions. Electronic editions like Kindle will likely draw higher, anywhere from 25 to 50 percent. Compare this to what a self-publisher makes from Amazon on ebook sales. The lowest price you can set your book at on Amazon is 99 cents. Anywhere between 99 cents and $2.98, your payout will be 35 percent. Anywhere between $2.99 and $9.99, which is where most ebook novels are at, your payout will be 70 percent. Anywhere $10 and up, your price goes back down to 35%. For print editions of a self-published work made on Amazon's CreateSpace, there isn't a simple to understand royalty diagram, at least not that I've found. But here's an example from my novella. At around 115 pages and 25,000 words, my novella is priced at $7.99 for a paperback, and I make about $2 a copy. Keep in mind, the more pages and words you have, the higher your cost will be. And if you have a publisher, the money you make is going to be less. So you wouldn't be able to sell a 300-page book for $7.99 and make around $2. You'll need to raise that price to around $12 or $13 to reach the $2 profit mark per copy sold. And that is if you don't have a publisher. 
But of course, you can price it higher, and if you have a publisher, they undoubtedly will. Well, I'm unpublished, and no one knows who I am. What should I do? At the end of the day, I can't tell you which route to choose. All I can do is give you a little education based upon my knowledge and experience. Regardless whether you want to go the traditional publishing route or go the self-publishing route, having some kind of a platform that boosts your value will only help you with a publisher or a literary agent, or it will help you sell copies of your story. So, as much as you might hate the idea of marketing yourself, you might want to do something that draws attention to your craft. This doesn't mean you have to go out and become a stereotypical salesman. Try to find something you enjoy doing. That's why I created this channel. My hope is to boost my platform to make myself more valuable to publishers and literary agents. But after making a couple videos, I've come to enjoy this. Using YouTube is another tool I have to express my creative side. So even if this doesn't lead to a bunch of subscribers or book sales, I still haven't wasted my time. In today's market, a publisher will be happy if your book sells 1,000 copies. Selling 10,000 copies is a mega success. So my thought is, if I can grow this channel to about 1,000 plus subscribers, I will be able to tell a publisher that I can advertise a book trailer to an audience of 1,000 plus without having to pay for advertisements. Think about something like this for yourself, or think about some other way to boost your platform. Maybe you'll be the exception that finds a great literary agent, one who gets your first manuscript a deal with one of the big four publishers. If you are, please accept my sincerest congratulations. For those who don't want to bet against their percentages, let it ride! Let it ride! there's only upside to building your platform. Think about it like this. If you self-publish, you'll actually sell copies. If you go the traditional route, you'll create value for yourself, and your sales numbers will only be helped, which will only help your ability to get a deal with a literary agent. And a literary agent is needed if you want to get a deal with one of the big four. Yes, it sucks that writers now have to think about ways to promote themselves, but that's the situation most of us will face. You pissed me off. Thank you so much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. Let me know in the comments if you found this video helpful or interesting, or if you disagree about something, or if you have a question or suggestion for a future video, or really about anything. While you're at it, and since you've made it this far, you'd be helping me out greatly if you hit the like button. If you enjoyed the video and want to see more, please hit the subscribe button. As of right now, my job as a full-time high school teacher prevents me from releasing videos more than once a month. In time, I hope to raise this number. But, in the meantime, I invite you to return on the first Wednesday of next month for the next post. Thank you again for watching, and I hope you have a great day.